I don't worry about anything in the internet age. Um, I, I've been online since, um, well, since I was aware of 1985 in San Francisco with an, um, an Apple Macintosh. And back then it was just a black screen and you typed and someone typed back. And I loved it. I loved it. It's changed everything in my life. It's, um, I would not want to even be alive in an era that did not have it because it is the, it is essential to our evolution as a species. It, to me, feels utterly inevitable. We had to, we have to have it because if you think about it, we've created a system where there's, um, sort of a, a, a global caste system. What happens if you're the genius nine-year-old girl living in a dirt poor, unnamed country with nothing and there is not one eye trained on you and you don't even know enough to hope, but you're a genius, right? And one day someone drops from the clouds some peculiar little durable computer thing that you've never seen. And you pick it up and you poke at it and you kind of figure it out. And what you realize is that this little thing connects you. But more than connecting you to other people in the world, it masks you. Now, a lot of people can be afraid of the masking because people can misrepresent themselves and they can pose as people they're not. Well, yeah, that's true. That's true. That's one side of it. But the other side of it is that it equalizes you. And if you happen to be a person who is not equal in the eyes of the greater society, that's a damn good thing. Because now, guess what? You are. You are. You are every bit as valid as the Stanford graduate. And we have to have that, not for politically correct reasons, I don't give a shit about that, but we have to have it because these people contain essential things, essential things. In order for us to progress, we need brilliance. And brilliance isn't fair, and it's not polite, and it's not, um, we can't grow it. It happens. It happens. Genius happens. And it doesn't always happen in a zip code where we can access it. Therefore, we kind of need not to keep tabs on everybody, but we need to give them access to everybody else. So I think that the internet is our most profound and beautiful achievement. It is, um, it is, it is magnificent. It is magnificent and it's just a baby. It's just a baby. I cannot wait until we can, um, we can, we can, um, know things because we have the internet, um, as a layer of our, um, of our thinking that doesn't control us. We control it. Yet we don't have to be aware of it, you know? It'll be like a suit that really fits well. <laughs>